Hello and welcome to Avoiding Big Brother. I posted the video about Signal and secure messaging apps and in it I mentioned how governments and agencies like to track us and understand our locations through the collection of data. And this data usually comes in the format of metadata. Metadata can be a threat to our privacy, but it is data that we can expose ourselves if we are not careful. And hopefully this video will help you prevent exposure of metadata so that nobody will be able to use it to trace your location. Metadata is like a digital footprint that someone could generate every time they surf the internet. Data can be collected through cookie files. These are files stored on a website that you visit. But sometimes it can be what we post on the internet that can give away things like where we are located. Something like a photo, PDF document, audio clip or movie file posted online or to somebody by email could give away your location, leading to someone tracking you down. Metadata is the what, who, where and why of any digital artifact, even photos captured on your camera. Your digital camera will attach data to a photo that you take with the device. Metadata is a list of tags included in the file, and there are many of them. Even the GPS coordinates for a location may be included. It can even include information of the devices used to create the digital artifact, such as the type of scanner used to scan a document. The biggest high profile case of someone tracked down because of exposed metadata came about via an interview with John McAfee, the controversial security software tycoon who passed away in 2021. He was on the run from the police in Belize back in 2012 after the death of a neighbour on the island he resided on in the Caribbean. He feared the police would kill him and so he fled to Guatemala. While in Guatemala, he agreed to an interview with the popular investigative media site Vice. Vice published the interview on their website and along with it a photo of McAfee with a Vice journalist. Unfortunately for him, Vice failed to remove the metadata attached to the photo. McAfee was arrested following Vice's gaffe as law enforcement were able to track his location after viewing the metadata that was included with the photo. We must be careful about what we post and the metadata that we might include with the file. If you're part of an activist group or a protest, a government could use this data to hunt you down or use incriminating evidence to arrest you. Government leadership always changes and while you might be part of a group that is not threatened by your current government, a different political party that gets into power in the future may not like what you do and persecute you. Social media is going to be the biggest problem for most people. We tend to post many images of ourselves and where we are, especially those of you who like to travel. Images will have metadata attached to them, and photos of activities you do around your home will reveal your home address via metadata. So you could even be a target for criminals. It is getting quite common for criminals to find targets for a burglary who view images of a target on holiday, and they do so by checking social media posts on a target's profile. They could use metadata of one image to locate your home address and view another image that you have posted to your social media profile, revealing that you are miles away on holiday at the time, and then they rob your home residence while you are away. Deleting or removing posts does not destroy the metadata neither, and there are many archive websites that can store old posts and the images that were included with them. It is down to you to delete the metadata before posting images. Unfortunately, there are metadata scrubbing tools and practices available to you. But first you need to understand how to find metadata and what is included with this data. Some browsers can allow you to right click on an image and check the properties via the menu. There will be a list that shows you what data is included with the image. The secure messaging app Signal can scrub the metadata from a file if you publish through its system. You can also use built-in screen capture included with your smartphone. You take a capture of an image and it ignores the metadata that came with the original image file. So the screen capture file has no metadata attached and you publish that image instead. Some apps such as Signal will also offer blur tools so that you can blur certain parts of an image, which is handy if you don't want to reveal somebody's identity and you can simply blur the face. You can even use photo editors with your mobile phone and add emojis to cover up faces and identifying objects in a photo, let's say a car registration plate for example. You can take things a step further and use a tool called EXIF. This stands for Exchangeable Image File Format. It can erase all of the tags that come with the file and as I said, metadata includes vast amounts of tags. 
PDFs can be a big problem for metadata, not just images. Many PDFs come with images included, and some of them can be really small and tiny. You might not even know that they are contained in the document. In this case, you could have a PDF with a set of metadata, and then an image within the document with its own metadata. In this case, the best solution is to compress the PDF file and remove the layers of data, like converting the PDF to plain text. And even printed documents can give away metadata of where the document came from, which is pretty shocking. The printer will print really tiny dots that are almost invisible to the human eye, and they are used to embed metadata into the printed document, the paper itself. To prevent exposure, taking a low resolution photo of the document can remove any visibility of those dots. Taking control of data is important to all of us and our privacy and security when we are online. But for those that might be at a higher risk, and by that I mean activist groups and investigative journalists, control of files, documentation and limiting exposure may be critical to stop greater powers prying into confidential data. Controlling metadata and what is shared could be seen as part of a data protection policy. It's not just for individuals, it's for businesses and organisations too. Look at the scenario with Vice. They were at fault for exposing one of their sources for an article and the source got arrested. When I think of what I've posted online in the past, this sort of thing gives me the creeps and will make me think twice before posting an image in a hurry. Take your time to remove the metadata before sharing your images and files if privacy is critical to you. Or if you want to go extreme, you can live in a cave and don't share any files and images about you and your life. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.